a lot of the health innovators that I talk to, you know, depending on what they, where they were in the process, um, you know, some of their target audiences have just closed the doors. Um, whereas other folks like you, those doors with existing customers are still open and they're kind of like, hey, throw me a lifeline. <laughs> you know, like I already have trust established with you. Um, you're already delivering some value, but my needs and my priorities have changed. And so cr creating a, a bit more of an open door for that kind of collaboration and co-creation together, which is, which is really exciting um, for, for, I think, for health innovators because you get a chance to, um, you know, make a difference, which I think is a big part of why you got in the business anyway, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I think the challenge is universal. We're, I'm not here to say that some of the, our contracting discussions not being slowed down due to budgetary issues or just mm -hmm. uh, many other challenges. But I think, you know, at a minimum level, this is a great time to build relationships with a cost with customers within the healthcare system you know there's a time that you know i think that we shouldn't be short-sighted to just don't make them feel we're still trying to sell them something but utilize the, utilize this time to reassess our business strategy and offer them help sometimes it may not be specific and don't be turned down you reach out to 10 customers maybe seven of them won't respond but the other three of them may and they will remember during challenge time who's reaching out to them. We even actually assembled um, some PPEs, a face mask, a, a facial shield to support some of our local hospital customers. Just mm -hmm. because genuinely, genuinely, we, you know, as a, as a part of a citizen in, in a community, we want to help our healthcare providers. So show sure. your um, sure. relationship at this time and willing to help in some way. People will really remember it over the long run. I think that that is um, a very important um, sales strategy for this time in this period is is to cultivate that relationship um, and and maybe that be the end goal right now, <laughs> like you said, not selling them something um, because now is not necessarily the time. I think that you know, like you said. You know, if you have something that can meet their needs right now, then we have an obligation to give that to them, to sell that to them. But at the same time, with with other po folks, um, you know, to cultivate that relationship is is really where I think I, I want to say where organizations should pivot to, but really building relationships should have been part of our sales strategy all along, right? It's just kind of like the duration of that is is changing a little bit. Oh,